This video attempts to explain derivatives of composite functions, which is a part of differentiation in grade 12 mathematics for the ISC, CBSC and state syllabus. We explain the chain rule that is d dx of Lz will be d dz of Lz into dz by dx. That is when you have different derivative with respect to x of a function which is in terms of z, we first take the derivative with respect to z of the function and then take derivative with respect to x of z. So question 1, find the derivative of cos root x. So we start with let y equal to cos root x. Now the function is root x here, so we say let z equal to cos root x. So y equal to cos z. So dy by dx becomes dy by dz into dz by dx dy by dz is minus sin z, dz by dx is 1 by 2 root x. And now we substitute for z as root x, so it becomes minus sin root x into 1 by 2 root x. Next question, differentiate root a squared minus x squared by a squared plus x squared with respect to x. So let y equal to root a squared minus x squared by a squared plus x squared. So we let y equal to z raised to half that z is a squared minus x squared by a squared plus x squared. So dy by dz becomes half z raised to minus half into dz by dx. That is half z is a squared minus x squared by a squared plus x squared raised to minus half into d dx of z. This is z a squared minus x squared by a squared plus x squared. So this is half we reduce it to a positive index that is a squared plus x squared by a squared minus x squared raised to half. Here we apply the quotient rule, so your denominator is a squared plus x squared, the whole squared, and numerator is a squared plus x squared into derivative of a squared minus x squared, that is minus 2x, minus numerator a squared minus x squared into derivative of denominator, that is 2x. So we get half a squared plus x squared by a squared minus x squared raised to half. Denominator is a squared plus x squared, the whole squared, when we open the bracket, we get minus 2x a squared minus 2x cubed minus 2x a squared plus 2x cubed. So when you simplify, you get minus 4x a squared by 2. Here, a squared plus x squared raised to half will go in a squared plus x squared squared and you get the denominator as a squared plus x squared raised to 3 by 2. The other a squared minus x squared raised to half we write here. And here the minus 2x cubed cancels. So you get minus 2x a squared minus 2x a squared, which is minus 4x a squared. So that would be minus 2a squared x by a squared minus x squared raised to half into a squared plus x squared raised to 3 by 2. Next, differentiate sine cos x squared with respect to x. So let y equal to sine cos x squared. We call z as cos x squared. So y is sine z. So dy by dx is dy by dz into dz by dx, that is cos z into d dx of cos x squared. Replacing z as cos x squared, we get cos of cos x squared. Derivative of cos is minus sine, so it is minus sine x squared into d dx of x squared. Because instead of x, if you have x squared, it will be minus sine x squared into d dx of x squared. That is minus cos cos x squared into sin x squared. Derivative of x squared is 2x. So this is minus 2x cos of cos x squared into sin x squared. Next, find the derivative of cos 2x plus pi by 3 at x equal to pi by 3. So if we call y as cos 2x plus pi by 3, so dy by dx will be instead of x, we have 2x plus pi by 3. So first we take derivative of cos that is minus sine 2x plus pi by 3 into d dx of 2x plus pi by 3, that is 2. So dy by dx at x equal to pi by 3 would be replace x as pi by 3, that is minus 2 sine 2 pi by 3 plus pi by 3, which is minus 2 sine pi, which is 0. Next, 